In this video I'm going to show you how to change a uh, wheel stud in a S13 on the rear. So mine's, one of mine is buggered, so what I'm going to do is change it. What you have to do is jack up your car, put it on stands, and take off the wheel of wherever it is. Now to change it you actually have to take off your rotor, which means taking off the caliper. So there's two 17mm bolts, one is under here, you can see I've already loosened it, the other one is on top here. So just loosen those two, and obviously release your handbrake when you're doing this, and then you'll be able to pull your caliper off. Now you don't want to have the caliper sitting on the line, because it's really bad for it. Um, you can hang it up, which is what some people suggest, but you can actually just sit it on the lower control arm, um, usually, so we'll probably just do that, it's easier. Don't have to get wire and fuck around with any of that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to take this off quickly and then uh, show you the next step. Okay, once you've removed your caliper, um, just rig it upwards, move it upwards and uh, it'll come off. Then you can re remove the rotor. Now, obviously if it's, you haven't done this in a while, it's going to be pretty hard to do. So that's why they have those two holes there. You can actually thread in, uh, they look like about M8, M6 um, bolts and then it will actually pull the caliper off. Uh, pull the rotor off, sorry. And that's how you get the rotor off. Now we've got to this, so now you can see we've got the room behind to smash the stud out and put the new one in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a nut onto the stud, which is buggered, and smack it like crazy with a hammer. Put the new one in, and then put some washers on there and a nut and pull it in. And you want it to bottom out, otherwise if you don't get it bottomed out, um, when you put your wheel back on it can loosen up and then obviously, if it's all of them it will be very bad, your wheel can come off. If it's only one it's... Not too much problem, but still you don't want to do it. So you want to make sure that's fully bottomed out when you put that stud in. And I'll show you that soon. Okay, a little bit of bashing later. Uh, it's actually not that hard. You just use a little hammer like this, a little shitty one. And then um, yeah, it'll come through and just wind the nut off. Um, then this thread's stuffed, so usually you'd wind it until it's flush, but I couldn't because the thread on this is actually really buggered, as you can see. So yeah, now that one's done. Now I've got another stud, which I got out of just another hub, which is in good nick. Um, obviously you could get a new one, but I already got one laying around, so why bother? Put it in there and align the splines. You'll sort of feel it grab. And then what we're going to do is put some washers on there, so you can wind the nut on the entire way. And then we're going to pull it in, just wire the nut. You can use an impact um, wrench, which is probably a lot easier, uh, like a rattle gun, or um, you can if you got the hub off, you can just smash it with a hammer, which is probably even better. So yeah, I'm just going to do that now. Alright, so once you've pulled it through just a little bit, put the rotor back on. Uh, obviously you chuck it in gear so it doesn't move. And then uh, what I did is just use the big nut and then a washer and then the um, wheel nut. And then just tighten it up. Just clean up that sort of shit. And then she's in. Should be bottomed out pretty firm. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So that's how you replace wheel nut. Real easy. Obviously, you put your caliper and everything back on, but all in all, it's probably about 20 minutes work, if that. And uh, yeah, real simple. Cool. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Catch you later. Yay, fast start! Woohoo!